Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
Thanks for tuning in to the MyTown Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the MyTown TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the MyTown Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few. And welcome, everybody. We're live here in Russell, Kentucky, home of the Russell Lady Devils softball team. They will be taking on the visitors from Ashton, uh, the Kittens, and the Kittens come in with a 2-1 record, and then uh, they're going to have their hands full today. It's a beautiful day for softball. My Town TV here. I'm Brian Barber. I'll be bringing you guys all the action today here, and again, it's a beautiful day for basketball, and or baseball, excuse me. Like basketball season's on my brain, but anyway, folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break and come back, and we're going to get you guys ready to for the starting of this game, and it shouldn't be too much longer now. We're going to get started lineup when we get back, so hey, don't go anywhere. You're watching My Town Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology, to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock's Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. back folks my town tv we are glad to bring you this, today's coverage russell here beautiful campus beautiful day for softball folks as you can see right there a little team meeting out there at the uh, home plate we're getting ready to get this thing started these two teams are our rivals and it should be a, you know when, he, when these two teams play just throw everything out the window it could be could be anything that could happen today uh, ashland comes in with a fresh off a win over bath county six to five and of course russell's are coming in at four and two they're coming in off a 8-6 win over Raceland, another district foe for them guys. And uh, this as Ashland will be in third in the 64th district, as, they, as we've said before. And Russell, of course, in the 63rd. That's a tough district uh, 
when you look at it, because you got, you know, Raceville and Lewis County, and, of course, Lewis County, you know, you know, they're good every year right now, and they're playing good softball. But, you know, Russell comes in at 4-2. and two, They probably got a little bit more edge and experience. Uh, of course, they got Aubrey Patel. Anytime you got her, uh, you know, you, you got to give yourself a chance to win. They've, and Russell brings back probably a little more a little more firepower than Ashland. They are batting oh, around, two, around 300 as a team. And, of course, that's you know, that's pretty good. And ERA's right around 5. And same for Ashland. They're, uh, the bats, again, last year, that really cost Ashland. They, they couldn't seem to find their offense. They struggled at times to score runs, and, and uh, that, that really cost them. But, you know, but, but, again, they played better down the stretch, and, and they played well at the end of the season. They went uh, – uh, they did, did really good in the uh, district. They went on to go on to region and play there where they got beat. But, again, uh, it's a new year, new faces, mixed with the old faces. And, again, it should be a great day for softball. We'll go over the lineup when we come back. We're going to take one more break here before this thing, this thing gets started. And, again, you're watching My Town Sports. We'll be right back. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Those Ashland lines are in now. Of course. He's going over the non-starters right now. Carson Bonifer. Playing as Plexus Vector is number 24. 
All right, there's your lineups are in, and we'll stand up for Nash Wendon and uh, Folks, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching my Down TV Sports. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care. Advice you can trust. Advanced technology. To understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock's Jewelers, and this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. My Town TV Sports, we're getting ready to get this thing set. We'll get underway here. And of course, you see how the Russell's in the, uh, they're dressing their gray unit with the maroon trim. And they're out there in the field right now and we're getting ready to get this thing going. And Ashland's in the uh, maroon and their away, away uniform. Look, both teams looking pretty sharp out there today and it should be should be a really good matchup here. I mean, uh, early in the season, both teams have, have played a few games and Russell, of course, has the edge there. They uh, got six games under the belt, as I mentioned, four and two. And uh, they beat some pretty good teams. They coming off that win, big win against Raceland. Ashland, meanwhile, both have beaten Bath County and Elliott County. Lost to Johnson Central. There's a two and one record. So here we go. We're gonna get this thing going now. Again, beautiful day for softball here. The fielder Ingram will step in and bat first for these kittens. We get ready to get this thing underway here. And the tail set. Here comes the first pitch, folks. Ingram showed bunt, takes a strike. Patel, he's a, had a great year last season for Russell. It seemed like any time he was on the mound, they, they had a good chance to win. Head on one, here comes the pitch. Swung on, chopped foul down the third base line. 0 and 2 now the count to Ingram. Looks like the wind's blowing a little bit to the north. Not real windy, but some pretty good gusts out here today. Gusts up to 12, 13 mile an hour. Right at 60 degrees here. First pitch. O2 pitch on the west, high. So two strikes, one ball on the leadoff hitter, Ingram. 
top of the first. One two pitch on the way. Swung on out. It's popped up. Gonna be old left fielder will take care of that one. For the first out, so Ingram's dispatched of and Ratliff made a nice catch out there, calling off everybody. Grace Delaney now, number two batter. With one away now, Patel set to go to work on her. Apologize for that wind, folks. It's a little windy out here. We're not in a press box. The first pitch taken high. Ball no strikes. Delaney's wings and just missed that one. Straight back into the screen. And that evens up to count at one on one. Patel has a lively arm. She's, she can get it up there in a hurry. Low one outside. Two balls a strike now on Delaney. That's shortstop. Swung on, that's popped up. Right field out there. That's oh, excuse me, that was Rat. That was Ratliff. So two away. I got Ratliff and Honaker mixed up. So now Jen and Delaney will come to bat with two away. Patel making quick work of this first inning here, top of the first here. Two up, two down. Swung on, foul back off the screen. So she'll fall behind. And no balls a strike. Scott Ingram, the head coach of these kids. Got a lot of experience. Takes that pitch of ball, even things up at 1 1. Ashland batting 317 overall as a team. Meanwhile, Russell batting 384 as a team. Swing and a miss on that one, didn't get it. So now Patel ahead here again. She's been ahead on all three batters she's faced. Ball, two strikes now to Delaney. One two pitch. Here it comes. Take it high. Even things up two two. Delaney with a hefty seven fifty average, leading this team. She can hit it. Pops that one up third base side. Lily Smith calling for it. Makes the catch, and that will do it for the kitten. So. Three up, three down, nobody left. At the end of a half of one here, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be back. You're watching My Town TV Sports. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back, folks, here to Russell, Kentucky, home of the Lady Red Devils of Russell, who. Uh, Made quick work of Ashland there in the top half of the inning. Now they will come to bat and get, get our first look at them. Again, they're batting, I believe, it was 383 as a team. So they hit the ball well and have a pretty good ERA. 3.83 as a team. 
If you look back last year, look at Ashland's. Uh, go back to the first three games. Uh, they're markedly better in most categories this year. So Hutchison, Paige Hutchison, will lead things off. She's got some power. She can hit hit the long ball. I called a game last year. If you played at boy when they played at Boyd County, she boy she had a heck of a game, including one long ball. So here we go. How do you lean on the mound? That first pitch is in there for a ball. One zero pitch taken for a ball. So two balls, no strikes. Is Lane yet to find the uh, strike zone? There's a little line shot out to the shortstop, and Grace Delane, no problem with that one. A little blooper. She corrals that. It's a leather on it. It's one away. Gabby Oborn steps in here. To Number two hitter. Oborn name synonymous with athletes and here in Russell. Comes from good genes, definitely. Lane's first pitch grounded fair. Second base will take care of that. Delaney will throw on there, and that'll be two away. So both teams making pretty quick work here of each other in the first inning. Lily Smith. Wow, what a season she's had so far. 14 hits, 13 ribbies. That's getting it done. I don't think there's probably anybody in the region hitting that hot. Riley Harmon over there at first for the kitten. She's a, a name I'm not real familiar with. I don't remember her playing last year, but interested to see her play. As I am Honaker with Russell. Well, new faces to me anyway. So A lane now with two outs has got one ball here. Fitch taking for a ball. So again, fall behind. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. I'm waving that bat around ready. That's popped up foul territory. Going over to get make the play on it. And getting the leather around is Riley Harmon, and that will do things. So three up, three down on both sides. So now we're through one here in Russell, Kentucky on this My Town matchup. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Strollers. And this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you and any of your gift-giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here in Russell, Kentucky, on the campus of Russell High School. We're watching the, the Lady Red Devils. So Lana Troxler will lead things off here. Top of the second inning, number four hitter. Patel has to go to work, inning number two here. First pitch, just a little bit high for ball one, so Troxler Showing good patience here at the plate. Comes a 1 0 pitch on the way. Low and outside. So, two balls, no strikes now. Top of the second inning here. Patel sets. Two pitch on the way. 
Swing and a miss. Big cut there by Troxler. Couldn't get it. So two balls and one strike now to her. Ball low. So it's three balls, one strike. And I believe that's the first ball three that uh, Patel's thrown so far. See if you can get a strike here. 3 1 pitch. It's on the way. Taking for a strike. So count's gone full now to Troxler, the kitten center fielder. And she's ready. Here comes Patel. She comes set. Called strike three. I don't think Troxler will happy with that one. But nonetheless, it's a strikeout. One away now. So that brings up Addie Lane now. Number five hitter. The one away. And the first pitch. So Addie's in the dirt. Bouncing off the plate there for a ball. This down got a little bit away from her there. Patel. One little pitch, taking outside for a ball. All right, two balls and no strikes to Addie Lane. And here comes the 2 0 pitch. Patel, she wastes no time. A little bit high, called strike. So, two balls a strike now to Addie Lane. One away in this Montana matchup here in the top of the second. No score. Nobody reached base yet. A good old good one going here, folks. There's a fly ball, center field. Going back on it and making the catch. Nice nice catch out there with that win. I'm telling you what. Bella Hall makes a good snag out there. So it's five straight retired from by Patel and the catcher, young Brooklyn Duckweiler will come up to bat, to bat here. Just coming off a really good basketball season for, for her. Bright future for sure. Talented athlete. So here we go now. Two out. Patel, first pitch. Duckweiler look at the strike. So again, Patel throwing strikes, staying ahead of the hitters. That's what you got to do. Make him, make him swing. Patel comes ready. Go one pitch. That one's taken outside for a ball. Even things up at one one. We'll go back to the region basketball. Boy, I'll tell you what, these two teams went out at Russell National. Two fantastic teams. Russell got the better of it. There's a line shot to the second baseman. Fielded Oborn on the first. That will do it. So another three up, three down in for Patel. We're through one and a half here in Russell, Kentucky. You're watching My Town TV Sports. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life all with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. All right, we are back here in beautiful Russell, Kentucky, on the campus of the Russell Red Devils, Lady Red Devils, and we're going down to the bottom of the second. This game is tied up. Nobody's reached base yet. 
Ashland's uh, had six players in a row retired by Patel. And, and likewise, uh, Maddie, or Addie Lane just retired three straight doubles. So he's, he's had to go to work here in the bottom of the second. Again, I was talking before the break. What a what a matchup this was on the basketball, on the hardwood, man. i tell you what. Two great teams, high RPIs. Russell just fell short there in this week 16, and you got, they got to hold their head up. Really solid solid effort, great season. Great coach, Mandy Lane. Ashton, of course, too, with a, a great coach. And Stacy Davis. All right, here we go. No score. Bomb second. First pitch of ball to Patel. Clean up hitter for these Lady Red Devils. So ball, no strikes. The hard throwing, solid hitting Patel. Takes that one for a ball, so 2-0. and Lane being real careful here. So three straight balls to Patel. Lead off batter here in a second, number four hitter. Here's a strike. Much needed. So three and one now the count to Audrey Patel. Patel with eight hits, eight RBIs on this young season, three doubles. And does have a home run. Russell has four home runs as a team. That was in the dirt. That'd be the first base runner. As Addie Lane issues a free pass to Patel. So Patel with her fourth walk of the season. Stands on first, nobody out. Let's see if Russell can get her around here. A little meeting down there with players and Patel's coming out. Not sure who the pinch runner is. All right, here we go. First pitch high ball. So lead off walk for Patel. It gives Russell the first base runner. First base runner of the game. Ball no strikes to count now. Swung on to ground ball. There's one first or second. Oh, just missed a double play. Nice job, Ashton defense out there. Getting the lead runner. So Russell unable to advance the runner. Number two, Ava Howard. Hmm. So Ava Howard steps in now. Takes that one high. Doug Lauer took a look down there at first, thought about it. So ball one to Howard. One out here in the bottom of the second. Runner on first. Ball low. So Eddie Lane now needs a strike here. There's a fly ball, center field. It'll be caught out there. McCreary, I believe, out there on the catch. Boy, it's hard for me to look out in right field. That sun, man, as soon as I turn to right field, that's right in my eyes. I can't see a thing. Try going outside. 
So Addie Lane gets ahead here now. The first pitch strike. That's what she's got to do, throw strikes. Russell still runner on first. Two outs now. Swing and a miss. Reese swinging that bat around. Tabs the plate. Steps in there. Ready to face Patel again. No balls, two strikes. Strike three called. So that will end things here. But Russell, no hits. They strand one. So we're through two complete now here in Russell. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Welcome back to Russell, Kentucky, on the campus of the Russell Lady Red Devils here. We are through two complete here in this My Town matchup. Two My Town TV schools, Ashland and Russell. We love having both these schools. So Riley Harmon will lead things off here. Top of the third. This game moving right along. And here we go. First pitch, third in is on the way. High ball. Riley Harmon, first baseman. Got a little piece of that one, but still nonetheless a strike. Evens things up at one on one now. One out now here in the top of the third, zero zero score. My town matchup. That's a good one. One one on the way. A shot out to short, but again, that was just hit right at Paige Hutchison. She's a he's a dandy fielder, just a heck of an athlete. No chance of that baby getting by her. So Aubrey Foster now will finish the lineup now as that Rasson will go through their first nine here in the third. Eight up, eight down for Patel. Looking like she's in mid-season form right now. First pitch on the way. Swung, foul back off the screen. Each team's struggling here. Russell does have a base runner. That was Patel on a walk. No ball to strike. It's taken low. Look at Highfield trying to frame that one. You know, she does a good job with that. Smart catcher. I love the sleeveless look she's got going on too. Tech Luzinski look out there for you old red fans. Right down Broadway. That's a strike. So ball two strikes now. Kids looking for the first runner. Aubrey against Audrey. Swung on that was popped foul down the split field line. Just out of play. Ratliff giving chase of that one. So we'll do it all again here. One two pitch. That's a swing and a miss. That will be out number two. Right fielder, number 23, Aubrey McCreary. So McCreary, off, coming to the bat. She's a right fielder, number 23. My town matchup, beautiful weather, sunny, a little breeze. 
Well, 60 degrees right at first pitch. Getting a little bit cooler. First pitch a strike. Patel doing everything right right now for Russell. Ahead to count again. No balls a strike. To McCreary. Make that no balls, two strikes. She waved at that one and didn't get any of it. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Top third here, Russell, Kentucky. Not town matchup. Patel bringing it. And that's strike three swinging. So, again, the kittens, three up, three down. Patel making quick work of them. We're through two and a half here in Russell. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Back here in Russell, Kentucky. And Brooke, Brooke Wilder made a nice foot down to second base on that last pitch right there. So we're getting ready to go to the bottom three now. And this game is tied up. Only had one base runner so far. That was Patel last inning with the walk. So haven't seen a hit yet either. So now Corinne Ratliff will step in. Destiny Goins, the coach here. Russell, fine athlete back in her day at Boyd County. First pitch, taking a ball. So Addie Lane needs a strike here. She's always came back. She's worked herself out of a few little behind the count batters. Another ball outside. So far, some good defense from these Ashland Kittens. Dress in her road maroon, all maroon, white trim. Both teams are maroon. Russell has a gold, of course, with the gold trim. Here's a ball. So now it's three balls, no strikes. Hattie Lane needs a strike right here, or Russell will have her second base runner. Swung on, chopped foul, first baseline. So three balls, one strike now. No score here. Bottom of the third. Home half of the third, you might want to say. And that was chopped. Foul there right off the plate there. Well, I just missed that one. Thought back off us. <laughs> Patel, in case you're wondering, she's not the leading hitter as she has been in the past. That belongs to Lily Smith. I mentioned her numbers. They're incredible. So count's full now. Addie Lane. Ooh, just misses low. So Ratliff will take first. So left fielder, Carson Honiger, steps in. I mean, anxious to see her. I haven't seen her play yet. Oh, 
Honiger has just an RBI. Seven hits, but one RBI. Two doubles. Way high for a ball. Paige Honiger. Or Carson Honiger, excuse me. She's batting 412, so not a bad job she's doing this year. That was fouled back out of play right at us. We were outside here, folks, at this facility, so you may hear me run for cover on another foul ball like that. I can't afford another hit to the head, folks. So 1-1 one, one now. The Honiger. Runner on first, nobody out. Just misses, man. She's close. She's just not getting the right, right in the right spots. So that's two balls now. And a one strike. Russell's trying to put something together here in the bottom half of third. It's popped up. And right at me. Oh, goodness gracious. Whew. I need an umbrella or something here. That's what I need. A steel umbrella. Something, you know. Not the kind of umbrella you put in your drink, that's for sure. So that foul ball brings the count even now to 2-2. So runner on first, nobody out. Russell in business here. Now in the dirt, now we'll have first two aboard, and Brookwater's camera's about to get that to keep the runner at second, so nobody out. Russell's got him on first and second now. Well, Addie Lane getting a little bit of trouble here in the third. See if she can bounce back, take care of business here. So Paige Hutchison now will step in. Solid hitter. This year she's got uh, she scored nine runs. She's got 18 at bats, seven hits, two RBIs, three doubles. She is batting 389. Not bad. Destiny Goins likes to run. So far this season, Russell's far stolen bases go. They're 11 of 13. Four of those belong to Lily Smith. Nobody out. Swing on is shot at shortstop. Delaney can't get a glove on it. It goes out in the left field. It'll be played, and then a run will come in. Here's a throw. Not in time. So Russell dents the board here. Bottom half of the third. Paige touches him once again. Clutch hit right there. Just... Smashed that thing to get by the diving Delaney out there at short. Gabby Oberm Gabby step in, third baseman. The runner at third. Runner at first. They're in business here. Nobody out yet. So Addie Lane needs to bear down here and try to limit the damage. This mighty My Town matchup. Two powerhouses. Ashley had a good run back in the mid two. There's a bunt. Squeeze play on. I'm not going yeah, to advance the runner. So, oh, throw down there. To, ooh, kind of a close play down there at third. But again, I'm a pencil on. Nobody get a tag. So here she comes. Lily Smith. Outstanding season. Can't say it enough. I mean, you're talking, this is amazing. Listen to these numbers, folks. 23 at bats, 14 hits. She scored 12 runs, 13 RBIs, three doubles, a triple, three home runs. I mean, you have to get that done. There's a flare out in center. It's going to drop. I don't think that'd be an error. That'd get a run in. Tough play right there. Just kind of flared down on her. So McCreary not able to get her hands on that one. Well, Troxer, excuse me. 
So they're going to call a bad runner out out there at second. I'm not sure. So we have two out now. A little conference call here at Pitcher's Mound. So it's 3 nothing now, Russell. Bottom of three. Third inning's been their, been their number right now. And so those runs were courtesy of a couple walks for Maddie Lane. She's pitched pretty well. She's got to find some more strikes. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I would go to break, but as soon as I say that, they'll break up and we'll start playing again. But again, Russell making good contact this inning. And looking really good. Again, off to a four and two start this season. Ashley not too bad either. Two and one start. And some might say, well, they played LA County and Bath County, but again, it's two wins. All right. Line drive up the middle. That's going to get in for a hit. Trocker fills that. Got right. Boy, I tell you what, that ball was a one hopper right to her. That was a rocket. So Bella Hall will step in now. There's only one out, so I'm not sure what happened there. Tell will come out. We'll have a. What was that, guys? Number 10? Okay. So that would be uh, Tay. That would be Taylor Groves. Ground ball off the pitcher. Filled it at second base. Oh. Could that be runner's interference? No call. And then we'll talk about it. I'm not sure if they're going to call interference or not. She ended the lane, not able to field that. Again, another hard hit ball. And Scott Ingram's wanting to talk about it. I'm sure what's on his mind, he's thinking that was definitely interference. Bang, bang call right there. It could probably go either way. I'm not sure if it's like uh, if it hits another player first, then would it be an interference because it went straight to the mound off lane and Anyway, 4 nothing, Russell. Some RBI grounder there. Bunted foul over Duckwater's head. So... No balls to strike now. Still just one out here. Bottom of the third. Four nothing Russell. It's my town matchup. They didn't even get a hit first two innings. They did get a walk, but it exploded here in the bottom of the third. It's a fly ball way out of play. Right field line. Off my car. Gives a character. Went out, no balls, two strikes. Addie Lane needing it out right here. Popped up, back off the top of the fence there. So Ava Howard battling now here. Ava Howard. Seven hits. She scored six runs. Two RBIs. There's a hit out. She's going to drop center field in front of Trotter. She bobbles a little bit there, but that's going to let the runner come. Here we go. Play at the plate. Big missed a tag. Bang, bang, play at third down there. She will be out. So nice defense here from Ashland. Nice awareness from Duckweiler. 
And she missed a sweeping tag at home plate and then fired a shot down to third. And Pinson able to make a tag right there for out number two. So, But again, another run scores, so it's 5 nothing now, Lady Devils. And it's been a little bit of everybody this inning for them. Swung on and fouled back off the, look at him off the umpire's face mask right there. Reese Cameron, batter now for Russell. Reese Cameron, point oh six three batting average. She's looking for some some offense for sure. Has only one hit. Sixteen at bats. She needs to get that bat warmed up. She's behind. No balls. A strike. With two outs here. Bottom of the third. May chase that low pitch right there. And that was definitely a ball. So she falls behind now. No balls, two strikes to Addie Lane. Addie Lane trying to get out of this inning with just five runs. No ball, two strikes, two outs. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Well, that is, but again, this big inning for Russell. And they will now jump ahead 5 nothing. We've played three complete here. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call any of them. Any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Well, we are back here in Russell, Kentucky on the campus of Russell High School where the Lady Red Devils have struck for five big runs, the bottom of the third, to take a 5 nothing lead over the visiting Ashland Kittens, and they are up out big time in this My Town matchup. So Ashland now having to play from behind. So leadoff batter, Ashley Ingram steps in there. Now behind by five. Ashley's going to need some runs here. Pitch was high, bunted, fouled back off the screen. So Audrey Patel looking really good here. And she's pitched a lot of innings this season. 34.2 innings pitch, giving up 40 hits, 25 runs. Only 19 of those were earned. Only nine walks, but 37 Ks. The 3.84 ERA. Not bad. One popped out of the glove there and called the ball. One one pitch. Some high cheese from one to miss. Good pitch from Patel. Made Ingram chase that one upstairs. That's the first strike now, so one and two the count. Or second strike, excuse me, one and two. Ball two strikes, here he comes. One, two pitch. High, even things up two, two. Ashland now behind, five, nothing. It's my town matchup here in Russell. Two, two on the way. That one's fouled back at... Oh, off the top of the screen there. Two and two. We'll stay. Wind blowing out now. See that thing waving out there in center? Good time to put one out. 
The ball, so count full. Good eye by Ingram there. Good job by her. After being behind, 0-2 oh, to fight back here and make things full. <laughs> Every base runner matters at this point. Nash needs some base runners. Strike three call. Tough break for Ingram. So she trots on the dugout with one away now. So one half of the Delaney sisters that comes up. Grace Delaney, fly out victim back in the first. Ashlyn, you had to have a base runner. High ball. Folks, we got a break here in the, in the action. I'd like to say thank you to Clark's Puppet Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Thanks, guys, for all the fabulous work you guys do in the community. Rick and Brent, outstanding fellers. Ball two taken low. Grace Delaney, the Tom, or the kitten shortstop, excuse me. Two a pitch, taking for a strike. Tell sets. Here comes the old 2 1 pitch. That's high for a ball. Well, three balls down and one strike to Grace Delaney. Second batter here in the inning. Top of the fourth, 5 nothing. Lady Red Devils. Ball. So there, there you go. There's a first base runner for the Kittens. Grace Delaney works Patel for a walk. Now here comes Jenna. Strikeout victim, her first at bat. I'm not going to first. So the first walk issued by Patel will go to Grace Delaney. And now it's up to Jenna to get her through. It's a first pitch strike. you bring it in on that one. Fastball right down Broadway. No balls a strike. Grace to lean down here first. There's a smash at the right field going back and making a play. Oh, nice, nice, nice little Willie Mays catch out there. That was Ratliff out there on the catch. Center fielder, number nine, Alana so Troxford now steps in with two away and Grace to lean on first. Ashland needs some hits. They got him a base runner right now. Be nice time to bring her around. They need some runs. But you got to get on base. Patel bringing it. Swinging a miss. Trucks were swinging for the fences there. And didn't get it. No balls to strike now. Two away. It's my town matchup. Patel sets. Brings it. Fouled back at us. and So quickly, Troxler finds herself in a hole. No balls and two strikes. A lot of trucks for that in 222 this season. She fouls another one off. That's three strikeouts, nine at bats, two hits, three RBIs. In case you're wondering, Jenna Delaney leads these kittens with six hits, seven RBIs, four doubles. Patel's 0 2 pitch, high ball. Fox are laying off that one. Good patience right there. It's hard to lay off that high fastball. You just want to swing at that thing so bad. You know, one, two pitch on the way. Taking a ball, another. Good job there by Troxer. Good eye. Two, two to count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Top four, my town matchup. Russell up 5-0. And the cast come back from behind. Here's a shot, right field foul. That one telling out of play. Alani, she she takes the cut now. She's definitely not shorted on that swing. Again, fantastic athlete. Also played on a really, really good girls basketball team. 
So we reset it here, and that's two to the count. Now in the dirt for a ball, so the count goes full now with Grace Delaney at first. Kittens behind, 5 nothing. They need, a, need something going here. Maybe they can get a, another batter here and make things interesting. Full count, Patel. You have to give up a hit. The line drive out of short. That'll be easily, easily caught out there by Hutchinson. That win thing. So Tomcats strand a runner. And uh, no, nothing else going on for him right now. So we're through four, or excuse me, three and a half now here in Russell. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. I know that we impacted him and it um, really helps, but... I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. back here in Russell, Kentucky on the campus of Russell High School where these Lady Red Devils are showing their strength right now on the, on the diamond here. They lead Ashton 5-0 in this nighttime matchup. I'm Brian Barber bringing you today's action. Along with Jeff Moore and Grant Sutherland behind the scenes getting the job done. Got the A-team with me today, boys. So the right fielder, Corinne Ratliff, will step in here. Get things going in the bottom half of the inning. Ashlyn, you have to get a hit. Only one base runner. Patel really get it done out there. First pitch swung on up, was popped out in the right field. Going to drop for a base hit. There's a little bit of a little flare out there. So the fielder, Carson Honaker, steps in. He's playing some good ball this season. First pitch of ball to Honaker. The players a ball. Addie Lane needing to find the strike zone right now. Can't afford to lift any more runs at this point. Down five nothing already. With the way Patel's been pitching, it could be a tall task. And popped up out of play. Off the fence. Thank God for that extension on the fence, man. Phew. Well done. So Addie Lane walks back to the mound. She's had a pretty good season so far. She's 3.11 ERA. And she's got her hands full right now. Oh, good pitch right there. Inside jammed her up there for a big swing to miss. So that takes things to two and two now. To Honaker, the leadoff hitter for Russell here in the bottom half of the fourth. Over there leading 5 nothing in this My Town matchup. So Addy Lane, here we go. Pretty even pitch. Swung on. That was popped up in the air. Right side. Riley Harmon calls for it. Got it. One away. So there's your first Lady Red Devil out. As Honaker's retired. So now Addy Lane will go to work on Paige Hutchison. Nice smash hit last at bat. Rocked one out there in the left field. Got by the diving Grace Delaney for a hit. She takes that first pitch strike. That's what Addie Lane needs to do right there. Throw them first pitch strikes. Right 
Had shaking the runner, steps on now. That one in the dirt, runner goes to second, throw down by Brookweiler. Ooh, close play. Well, what an arm. I tell you what, Brookweiler's got a great arm. Just got under that tag out there. So Russell now, one out, has a RSIP, runner in scoring position. Popped up out of play. So ball, two strikes now. Working that bat over. Steps in. Hailing, here we go. One, two pitchers, a rocket. Oh, excuse me, a little bloop over the third baseman. But no play right there. Delaney had nowhere to go. The runner advances the third. That's going to be an infield single. I thought that ball was hit hard. Look, like it was hit hard, but it had so much spin on it. So nonetheless, got him on the corners now. One out. Russell again threatening here in the bottom half of the fourth. As Gabby Oborn steps in. Got the good dirt in that uniform looking good right there. Brookwater checking some plays on her wristband there. Making sure she got her signs correct here with Addie Lane. First pitch, Oborn. There's a bunt, foul. So Addie Lane goes ahead in the count. No ball to strike. Russell, the Lady Devils got him on the corner. As I said before the broadcast, Russell just has a little more experience and maybe a tad bit more firepower. But we'll see. I think Ash will be in line for a good season. Runner will go down a second there. No, no throw. So base hit now could be two runs instead of one. It's been a pretty clean game, both sides really. I mean, not many errors. Here we go. One one to count. Again, the bunt that's popped up foul. So now, with two strikes, I don't think we're going to see a bunt here. Gabby Oborn. Only batting one, 143 this season, but again, she can get it done. We know we all know that. Fastball grounded down to third. Fielded, faked the throw to home, and then not in time at first. So Pinson, a little hesitation there, just couldn't decide where to go. Faked the throw to home, went to first, and Nothing going right there. So that brings up the hot hitting Lily Smith. Russell Head now, as I mentioned. Six nothing now as they get that run in. Lily Smith, Addie Lane, here we go. Ball inside. And Addie took some off that one. Takes a little walk there in the back of the mound, looking over the dugout. There's a fly ball, left field going back. Back, back, that ball's Gandhi. How about that? A hot hitting Lily Smith continues to just wallop pitchers. I'm telling you what, she put a charge into that baby. That was a no doubter right there. Way gone left field. How about that? Home run number four. Four. And she'll pick up three RBIs to take her RBI total to 16. Man. She is all world right now, on fire. A tough out for sure, I tell you what. She's, she's going to earn some respect so far in the region this year. Again, batting 609 coming into this game. I mean, man, that's getting it done. Unbelievable. Well, that cleared him out there, so now it's 9 nothing. And this baby's getting out of hand now for these hashing kittens. 
Hattie Lane delivers, swung on, that's popped up foul. Charging in, no, not making a play. Good effort out there, man, oh man. Dag gone. I need to get some dirt in uniform. Hmm. Tough last couple innings here for Ashland. So here we go. Lane back to work. There's a ground ball. Third pitch and big spill. So out. Nice job. Good defense right there for the second out. Big out right there. Well, brings in Bella Hall now to bat. Bella, good athlete. She steps in now with two outs. First pitch of ball, that Russell dugout. Been very active today. A little chance and cheers going on over there. One of the things I love about the sport. Bella Hall takes him for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Check swing, and that's a strike. So, with two balls and one strike. For two outs, Russell, four runs this inning, and they did it to play for five last, so it's nine nothing now. Bottom fourth. Base is empty, two away. Just misses high. Thanks, she wanted that one. So three balls, one strike now to Bella Hall. And that's a, another walk issued by Addie Lane, her third. And that, we'll put Bella down at first. Let's see, Bella. Let's see, who was that just came in here? Nine, Ella Wilson. Ella Wilson, here we go, number nine, steps in. Good tune in the background there. Ashley breaks up the meeting out there. Brooklyn Duckwater walking behind the plate there. As I mentioned, it's been a pretty clean game. Russell just hit the ball in the right spots. That's what you got to do. So two way, got to run it down at first. Swing on ground ball to first. Riley gets that and goes it up. Steps on the plate for the out. So Ashland goes through another tough inning as Russell strands one, but they dent the plate four more times and they lead nine nothing now. We're through four complete here in Russell. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. All righty, we're back. Going down to the top of the fifth. Addie Lane will lead things off of the National Kittens. They're behind now, big time, 9 nothing. 
They got a challenge ahead of them here. Let's see if they can get something done here. Need base runners. Bad. They only had one today. There's a ball hit out there. And they're still over the second base. Oh, what a great job out there. How about that snag out there? Wow. So quickly, one away here. Well, I tell you what, Oborn, she's just a heck of an athlete. Showing off her skills right there with that diving over-the-head catch. And Oborn, not no bigger than a minute. But, boy, that arm looks like a mile long. Looks like Mr. Inspector Gadget out there. So after a fine play by Gabby Oborn out there at second, one away. That's the, brings up Duckweiler. Face Patel. Only the second time. There's a shot out in left field going back deep. That ball's hit well. Going back, back. Off the bottom of the wall. So Duckweiler will be going to third for a triple. So the first action hit. And Duckweiler impressing me big time. He is a heck of an athlete. Great basketball player. Good speed. Good power right there. That ball just kept carrying. The wind just kept pushing that baby out there. Fossey may I have a home run there for a second. So Patel gives up her first hit. So now we've got uh, Riley Harmon, first baseman up here. The one away, runner out third. Swing and a miss. Good pitch. Patel, that even things up a 1-1. Top five, my town matchup. 9 nothing. Russell. Ashley got a runner on third. One out. And a 1-1 one -one count to Riley Harmon. Patel checks her wristband. Sets, delivers. Outside of ball. Patel has just been magnificent today. He's been mowing down these kittens. Inside the ball. So three balls in one strike now. The first baseman, Riley Harmon. And Audrey Patel. Sets, brings it. That swung on, popped up in the air. Out of play. Whew. So count goes full now to Riley Harmon. So Russell now, like I said, nine runs. They scored nine a couple games ago against a pretty good Pike County Central team. They were able to beat nine to five. They lost a one run affair to Boyd County here at home. That was a two to three loss. Another loss was the Fleming County, six to eight to open up the season. But since that first loss, they've won four or five. It might be five or six, the way it's looking right now. So we got Aubrey Foster now. We bat for the kittens here. One away, runners on the corners. Swung on, just missed that one. Got a piece of it. Came back here to the screen. And if she'll fall behind, no ball to strike. Again, I actually coming off a 6-5 win at home. It's Bath County a couple of days ago. They lost to Johnson Central 14-4, so that, that's the most run they've given up, but other than that, they gave up one run to Elliott County on a 9-1 win start season and gave up five runs to Bath County in a 6-5 win. So, strike call. So, ball strike now to Foster. She steps out, waves that bat around. Looking to keep this inning going here. Ashley got him on the corners. Patel's been just outstanding today. Blowing inside the ball, so a good eye from Foster there to even things up two and two. 
Russell Minfield playing a little bit in. Trying to prevent another Tomcat run here. This one that was fouled out of play, so she's hanging tough. In case you're wondering, Aubrey Foster does have a few bats. Nine at bats. No hits. Looking for a first hit of the season. That'd be a good time. Another ball. Patel wanted that one. So full count now with one away here in the top half of the fifth. Kitten's got him on second and third now. Patel delivers. Swung again and fouled off again. Third base line. Getting out of play. So we got a little battle here. Aubrey against Audrey. Aubrey Foster. Again, Aubrey Foster looking for a first hit. This young season. And again, swings and pops out and up. Third base side. That's going to be out of play. Hutchison and Lily Smith been busy over there, that left side. A lot of foul balls. So we'll do it again now. Foster really working Patel over on this one. Again, another shot down the third base side. That's out of play. So Foster protecting the play right now. Make Patel throw some pitches anyway. <coughs> Here we go, full count pitch. There's a shot out in the left field. That'll be over the head. Now to get a run in. Maybe two runs in will score now. So Ashland saying, hey, wait a minute here. Big one out double from Aubrey Fawson. She picks up two RBIs. Her first two RBIs in. First hit. First double. First everything. So McCreary will come in now. The bat. Ashland's got two hits now on the on the day. Nothing bigger than that one. Boy, you gotta feel good for Aubrey Foster. Nine bats come into this game and no hits, and she gets a big one right there. McCreary just oh she's anxious. Anxious. She's wanting a piece of the action right there. She swings it at a high one and misses. No balls to strike to the right fielder. Aubrey McCreary. Takes a strike. McCreary, 167 average. Two walks, a strikeout. Does have an RBI on one hit. She's looking to get that bat hot. They're swinging today. That was popped up out of play. Oh, bad bat hit me. Oh. Dang on. How about that? I'm getting my first piece of action today here. I got the ball in my hand right now. And we'll get a free Coke, take this baby back to the concession stand. Maybe one of them famous hot dogs. Well, they smell good, that's for sure. My goodness. Maybe some Mel's famous hot chocolate. That might be good, too. Takes that one high. That was a hard throwing fastball right there, man. So, ball, two strikes to McCreary. Ashton trails 9-2. They dent the plate for two here at top of the fifth. Oh, takes strike three. I thought she thinks she thought that was outside, but tough break for McCreary. She'll go to the dugout now. And so Ashley Ingram will come in now. Ingram four hits and RBI of the season. She's batting three sixty four. She'd like to get her another hit right here for sure. Takes a strike. Foster out there at second after her big double. 
I brought in two kittens. So no balls to strike. Two outs here. Top of fifth. 9-2. Lady Red Devils. Here's a ground ball. A little number back to Patel. She'll throw on to first for out number three. But the Tomcats get a hit. A couple runs. Strand one. And through uh, four and a half here in Russell, it's 9-2 Lady Red Devils. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're back here, Russell, Kentucky, Russell High School. With a Lady Red Devils of Russell lead, the visiting Kittens, 9-2. A lot of fans come by during the break congratulate me on my me flashing my leather. I still got it, folks. That's a hot foul ball right back to me. I tell you what, man, son. Ain't nothing getting by me. Bottom of the fifth. Here we go. 9-2. Lady Red Devils lead this thing. First pitch called a strike. Daddy Lane finds it. She hasn't really pitched bad at all today. Just Russell's just been aggressive. Oh, one pitch. Nice little curveball there, taking for a strike. Good pitch there from Addie Lane. But she's behind nine two. Needs to keep it at nine to have a chance. Bottom five. Russell five runs in the third, four and fourth. Big swing and a miss right there. How about that? So she gets a good strikeout right there. Lead off the inning there. So Corinne Ratliff will come in now to bat. With one away. Bottom five. Fast pitch softball, folks. I tell you what, I really enjoy calling this stuff. This is fun to watch. I like this just as much as I do calling the guys, for sure. These girls can really play. They can really play hard. They really love to compete. Nine-two. My time matchup. Russell leads. Swung on. Fouled back at us. So no balls, two strikes now. There's a ball. Ratliff Rall hasn't seen too much action this season. <laughs> Seven at bats and no hits, but there's a smash foul. First strike. So a ball's two strikes now with one away here. Bomb the fifth, nine two. Later, Red Devils will lead the kittens. I keep saying Tomcats. I want to say Tomcats, but these are the kittens, folks. One, two pitch. Swung on. In the air. Out of play here. Oh, man. If I dove, I may be able to get that one, but I didn't get loose. I didn't loosen up. So, with my contract, I'm not going to risk it. I can't risk an injury here, folks. No way. I got this voice insured for. Half a million anyway, so maybe I could die for it. Who knows? Grounded third base. Harmon or Pinson throws throws and got it. Bang bang plays. Wow. 
So two away now as Ashland trying to get out of this inning without a run. They went through the first two and didn't allow a run. So then Russell exploded in the third and fourth. And here in the fifth, they've yet to have a base runner. Had to lean back to her, back to Will and Dylan here. Taking a ball. Hattie Lane trying to get to this inning. One, two, three. We're chopped and foul off the screen there. Again, 9-2. Ooh, close bank, close pitch there. She was bringing it there. That was the ball. She wanted, a she wanted that strike there. Carson Honaker. Youngster. Honaker came in this game with a 412 average. Showing patience and good odds plate now. She's ahead in the count three to one. Lane delivers up and pop straight up. Addie Lane calling for it, and she'll grab it. And that will do it. So Russell, three up, three down here in the bottom half of the inning. We have played five complete here in Russell. Lady Red Devils lead 9 2. You're watching My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. And we're back here now in Russell, Kentucky, getting ready for the sixth inning of action here in, in the campus of the Russell Lady Red Devils. They lead the uh, kitten nine to two in this My Town matchup earlier in the season. Grace Delaney will lead things off here in the sixth. They trail nine two. They got two runs last inning on a big, big double from Foster. Tell here we go. First pitch swung on. That's in the air. Left field coming on, charging hard. Oh, almost had a William Mays ca catch out there. Man, I think that was Honaker out there. No, it wasn't. But anyway, the bat will continue now with one strike. <laughs> 57 degrees here. Sun's starting to go down here. Winds out of the north northwest, nine miles an hour, gust up to 16. Humidity 52%. Air quality fair, 26 air quality index. Ball taken there, so two balls in one strike now. That's right, sun setting now. It's now up for 12 hours and 28 minutes. Another ball. 3-1. So Ashland trying to mount a comeback here in the sixth. They trail 9-2 in this My Town matchup. Swung on, hit out right field a ton, going back. Wow, straighten that baby out and you got a home run. Boy, well, we put a charge on that one. Just foul. That'd have been nice. Scott Ingram says, straighten that baby out. 
Ingram, a solid coach here at Ashland. Don't get enough credit. He's been rebuilding here a couple years, and I think he's going to make this a winning team here before, two, before you know it. Ground ball to shortstop. Hutchison fields, throws on the first. One away. Bang, bang, play. Tonight brings up the other Delaney, Jenna. It's one away here in the top six. They trail 9 2. Tough day for these kittens. I'll tell you what, they ran into a bus all this Russell team. Really aggressive hitting. It's the mark of a going, Destiny going steam. Here's the ball hit the left field, going a ton, going back, back, back. That baby's gone. So Delaney will have her round tripper here in the top of six as the kids come out of the dugout. Running to the home plate to congratulate her. She's going to run right into Brookwater. She taps home plate big time. And a, nice to see that. So each team now with a home run. I think we just kept going and going and going. I think that wind helps anything going out the left. As I mentioned, the wind's nine mile an hour steady. So another run now. The Tomcats get two in the, excuse me, the Kittens get two in the fifth, 106. Make it a 9-3 game. Delaney, mm, Delaney just put, man, I'll tell you what, that's a hard hit baseball, softball, excuse me. One away now. Big cut by Troxler, didn't get it. She doesn't get cheated at the plate. She can take a swing now. Plenty of power. Good, good see back to back here. Let's go. Another big swing and didn't get it. Patel ahead. 0 oh 2 now. Alana Troxler. Takes the ball there. So ball two strikes to Troxler. Troxler takes the ball. Batting 222 this season. And then one thing here, that was that home run from Delaney was their first home run this season in their fourth, down to their fourth game. Going outside, Troxler showing a good eye now, battling back. After being down 0-2, she's worked this count full. <clears throat> so one away. Ashland trying to come back. They've got within six, nine to three. <clears throat> it's a fly ball hit in the air. First base side out of play off the dugout. So we'll do the do it again here. Full count, one out here in the sixth inning now. Tomcats get around a big home run. Strike three call right there, tough. So two away now as Patel takes care of Troxler. That brings up her counterpart, Addie Lane. Two away in the sixth. One run in. It's nine to three now, Russell. It's been a Lady Red Devil day today here. In this my time matchup, they've played really good. Patel's pitched really good. Strike outside corner. Addy Lane not happy. He looks down at Coach Ingram. Ingram, like Paley down there, getting the foot on it. That ball hit a ton. So it's two strikes, in the, two strikes now on Addie Lane, the kitten pitcher. She'd like to help herself right here and get something going here. And that hits taken for a ball. So a ball, two strikes now to Addie Lane.
Jaden Pitcher has that bat in the shoulder. She's getting ready. Got it up in here now. Here we go. Swing and a miss. Patel, another strikeout. That takes care of Lane. And the Kittens, but they do get a run on one hit. Big home run from Delaney. You're watching my time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Strollers. And this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606 324 7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here in Russell, Kentucky, where the... Uh, Lady Devils lead the Kittens of Ashen. 9-3, bottom six in. Like I mentioned, it's been a Lady Red Devil day here in this My Town matchup. Russell came into this game and with a good with a five and excuse me. <coughs> five and two record. And the Kittens, on the other hand, came in two and one. So we're looking at looking at their second loss. They can't sit, get something going here if they need to take care of business here now. Addie Lane comes out for her sixth inning of work. They held him scoreless last inning. There's a rocket. Shortstop caught. A rocket. Excuse me, folks. That was a flare. What am I thinking? But Delaney has that put out there for out number one. Brings up Gabby Oborn, second baseman. She flashed some good leather a few minutes ago. Made a great play out there. The ball hit overhead. She ran back and jumped up and just got it. Foul back off the screen here. A few falls behind now. No balls to strike. Cooling off now. Good time for some hot chocolate. The ground ball, right side. That's when we filled it. Throw it on the horn. One away. Nice job, Delaney, out there. Here comes trouble now. Lily Smith. Well, what do you do with her? She's a hidden machine. I'm, I'm impressed with her. Oh, look at a little off-speed pitch here on the outside corner. Call the ball. Smith steps in. And boy, she's showing a little bit of everything today. She's a heck of a ball player. I was looking forward to watching her. This just gets a piece of that one. One one count now. Two way here, ball at six. Time running out for these kittens. Base is empty. Two outs, swung on out, was popped up out of play. Ooh. Good time for some Mel's hot chocolate. I may have to sneak back there and get some. Get a little chill here in the shade and, and rustle. One, two pitch. Swung on. That was hit center field. Trucks are going back, 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 back. Yeah. Caught it. Nice job out there. So that will take care of Russell. Three up, three down here in the bottom of six. We've played six complete now. We're going to go on to seventh. You're watching My Time TV Sports. We'll be right back. Trust is something earned. 
not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. We're back here in Russell, Kentucky, the home of the Russell Lady Red Devils. They lead this thing 9-3. You're watching Montana TV Sports. I'm Brian Barber. I'm getting some of this famous hot chocolate delivered here. Boy, I tell you what, these, these folks do it up down here. How about that? Mills hot chocolate. Great service. Again, it's 9-3 here. We're going to the top of seventh. Brooklyn Duckwater will lead things off as I enjoy my hot chocolate. Been all Russell today. It's just been their day. They got they got the experience factor and and they bring back somebody like Patel. Look out! She she had a great season last year. Her first pitch high outside. Duckwaller. Madison needs something here and they need something in a hurry. Again, high to Duckwell. Sorry about that wind, folks. It's we're outside here. There's a strike outside corner. So two balls a strike now to Duckwaller. Top seventh here. Nine three they trail. The Lady Red Devils. In this epic My Town matchup early in the season. The ground ball third. Fielded and thrown on over the first. One away. Nice job defensively out there for Russell. Lily Smith can flash a leather two now. So Riley Harmon steps up to the plate now. Kitten first baseman. Takes that high and outside. So the ball and no strikes to Riley Arm in the first baseman. One little pitch on the way. Check swing for a ball. Thought about swinging at that one. Nine to three here. Top seven, one away. That one's high for a ball. So three balls to Harmon. Patel needs a strike here. Right. There's the ball, so not what Patel wanted to do, but again, she's still in complete control here. That brings up Audrey Foster, today's star for the Kittens. Two-run double for her, getting her first hit of the season. Happy for her. Go, the kid's been in a base base runner. I'll have the I'm not sure what I can't see the jersey. Oh, okay. Oh, what a what a shot by Hutchins on the first with an out. And that takes care of it. What a bang bang play out there from Hutchins and that will end the things. It'd be a 9-3 to win. Match up comes to an end. It was a well-played game. Patel was just too much for the kids to handle. And we're going to take a break. And we're watching my time TV, TV sports. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning, 
or you're able to plan ahead. When it comes to your heart, you want the very best care. Advice you can trust. Advanced technology. To understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Welcome back, folks. We're, this thing is over. We're going to wrap things up here on Montown TV Sports. And first of all, I want to say thanks to uh, the Russell Concession Stand for the delicious Mel's Hot Chocolate. And, of course, I want to say special thanks to Grant Sutherland and Jeff Moore, who do outstanding work for Montown TV. These, uh, without these two guys, nothing's possible. And, uh, again, it was just a, a Lady Red Devil kind of day here. Uh, Ashland played valiantly, and they got some decent pitching from Maddie Lane. But, you know, two bad innings, and it just, it was, that's all it took. And, and this Russell team, they got some experience back from last year, and they're, they're going to move on now to 5-2. and two, or They'll take on South Point away tomorrow. And then uh, for the Tomcats, they fall 2-2 two two on this young season. And, and, again, they played they played well, just had a couple of bad innings. And they will go on in, uh, in a couple of days to take on South Webster. And, again, it's, it's going to be a great season. We we're glad to bring this one to you here from, from Russell in a My Town TV matchup. We love both these schools, and uh, we're, we're, we're proud to have them. We're proud of both of them. And, we got to pay special thanks to all the fans and and uh, of both teams and and the uh, staffs of, of both schools. They, they do a great job and they, they help us a ton. And again, my time TV sports is all about the athlete uh, pushing pushing them ahead to the next level and see if, see if we can't get them to play college sports. So again, we uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, until next time, I'm Brian Barber along with Grant Sutherland and Jeff Moore. We are out here. Good night, everybody. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings.